Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another Twitch recorded episode live. If you'd come, if you'd like, if you'd come to like, if you'd like to come, uh, no. If you'd like to come over and watch live, the link is in the description below to my Twitch channel. Currently, the new schedule is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday from 2 to 7 p.m. Mountain Time. I have consumed too much caffeine, which you could probably notice already. Too much. Um, I was feeling really sluggish today. I was like, let's keep down in that caffeine, and now it's like it's, it's over the hill. So today's going to be a very jumpy episode. So I apologize in advance if it's like too much for you. I totally understand. Either way, if you want to come watch these live, link is in the description. You know the deal. All notifications are turned off. We just have the webcam and Yen's down there spurring me on. Let's do this. Um, if you don't, if you're in the chat watching right now, you don't want to be spoiled as to what our current quest is. I would look away, divert your eyes because I need to make sure that in fact, yeah, YouTube's not going to be spoiled, but if you're on Twitch and you don't want to see where we're at, like, mute it now for a second, because I got to do something to get this guy away from me, but, I mean, most people probably have already seen, most people probably know what happens in Skyrim, I would bet, but, um, Bubbles. yeah, you need to, did you say something? Um, wait here. All right, don't be wrong. Actually, where do we need to take him? Oh. I, should we just do this now? There's going to be a whole lot of exposition and dialogue. I think I'm going to leave him here. Yeah, which hopefully he doesn't get lost. I got to, I'm going to make a note that like this dude is here. Um, <laughs> because I don't want to, I think what happens is uh, near Ratway. I think what happens is that um, if you wait too long, they'll go to where they were. So should I just turn him in now? It's a lot of, Die, you know what? Yeah, I will. So if you're watching on Twitch, just know you're going to be watching this like ahead of an episode. Just just know that. But let's go ahead and finish this off. I want to get this out of the way early so this doesn't mess up. I've gotten to the Blades lore master Esbern ahead of the Thalmor. I hope he's as knowledgeable about dragons as Delphine promised. Escort Esbern to Riverwood. Yeah, I don't I don't want him I don't want this guy to just get lost in You'll either. have to speak up. I'm a little deaf in my right ear. Follow me. Good. We should keep moving. Okay, let's go. Okay, maybe if we get to Riverwood, he'll just like say, okay, bye-bye now. And then, okay, then we can wait on all of the dialogue and exposition because I'm sure there's a lot. Phoenix Winter asks, has anyone ever told you that you look like Chris Pratt? Did you say something? All of the damn time. Yeah, that and Post Malone. When I'm fat and I'm super bloated, I get Post Malone a lot. Uh, when I'm sticking with my calories and losing weight and going to the gym, I get Chris Pratt more. So currently we're in Chris Pratt mode, um, which is how you know I'm sticking to my diet and everything usually. Uh, if ever if ever uh, we start getting the, the Post Malones again, you can bet I'm probably eating a little too many calories more than I should. Is he going to like auto walk there? Because he's going super slow. Waiting on you, pal. Maybe he'll just go in there and then we can be rid of him. That would be good. Yep. Take your time. Yeah, because it doesn't look like he's following me. Looks like he's just heading in there. Okay, I think he's safe. Bye. He did the door. Hello? He did the door. Okay. I think we can leave now. Hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, Esborn has, Esborn has been escorted to Riverwood, I think. Um, so if you're watching on Twitch, you can come back now. We're done with all that. Uh, now, we're going to do something entirely different. I was like, what can we do on Twitch today? And we've had this one for a while. This is one of the more interesting side quests in Skyrim. The Forsworn Conspiracy. I think we all know this one. Oh, boy. This is, this is going to be a challenge for Legendary Difficulty. In fact, what is our carry weight at? I got to make sure we're not too heavy there. We're okay, I think. I received a note from a man named Eltris in Markarth. He wants to meet him at the shrine of. He wants me to meet him at the shrine of Talos, presumably to talk about the recent murder in Markarth's marketplace. Go to the shrine of Talos. Okay, this is a big, giant, fat, juicy quest. This is. Uh, I'm kind of scared of it. I'm not gonna lie. Main reason. There are some that say the Dark Brotherhood is back and stronger than ever. That they've made Dawnstar their home. Tell me, am I wrong? I don't know. You tell me. Oh, uh, yeah, you're right. And also, you need to learn what personal space is, man. You're, like, right next... Okay. You're, like, right next to me. Uh, okay. Do we have Eltris's note? We probably stored it. It would be a good thing to read that. I don't think we're gonna have... Oh, maybe it's, uh... Maybe it's, um... 
quest related, so we might still have it. Let's see. Gisser's note, no. I don't think we have it, but I'll catch you up. So basically, when we first entered Markarth, remember somebody see, tried to kill somebody, and we stopped it from happening. Circle. Which is what you can do. A lot of people probably don't know that you can actually stop it if you kill the guy fast enough. Um, most people, like the lady, gets murdered because they're like, what the heck is even happening? And uh, you have to be very fast. Uh, so we stopped the lady from getting mur uh, murdered. And somebody said, like, you know, for the Reach or Forsworn or something. Um, and so, yeah, uh, basically a guy said, walked up to us after we stopped the murder and he was like... I think you dropped this note, and we did not drop the note, but it's this subtle way of saying, hey, we need to meet in secret. So that's what we're doing now. We're meeting that guy, and this quest is going to be... Oh, boy. Um, I'm kind of scared of it, because not only is it one of the biggest side quests in the game... How the heck do I get down here? Not only is it one of the biggest side quests in the game, it's also one of those... I want to call it, like, in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild when you go to that island. I forget what the island is called. Anybody in the chat know what that is? There's an island in the... Uh, you know, in the bottom right of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? What, what is the name of it? I forget what it's called. Eventide. Yes. Robco God. Eventide. So, it's like the Eventide effect where it forces... Well, I don't want to spoil it, but you'll see what I mean later on. And people probably already understand. Hold on, buddy. Hold on. That would make a good thumbnail. Sorry to drag you into Mark Hart's problems. But after that attack in the market, I'm running out of time. Yeah, that attack happened like a month ago, Outsider. man. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to make a new save here. We're going to save over here because I want to come back and get this as a thumbnail. Okay, what's up, Eltris? So this is the guy that dropped the note. He's like, looks like you dropped a note. We're like, what? No, you dropped the note. He's like, no, 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 you dropped the note. Problems. What's up? But after that attack in the market, I'm running out of time. You're an outsider. You're dangerous looking. You'll do. I'm not doing anything yet. By the way, I'm an orc in this playthrough. If you're watching this going, why, why is he talking like that? I'm role-playing as an orc. It's cringy, yes, but it's also fun, so. I'm not doing anything yet. You want answers? Well, so do I. So does everyone in the city. A man goes crazy in the market. Everyone knows he's a forsworn agent. Guards do nothing. Nothing but clean up the mess. You want me to find out why? This has been going on for years, and all I've been able to find is murder and blood. I need help. Please, you find out why that woman was attacked. Who's behind Waylon and the Forsworn? And I'll pay you for any information you bring me. So Margaret was the one that was trying to be murdered, but we saved her life. Which again, normally she dies. What do you know about Margaret? She's not from Markarth. The air about her screamed outsider. Visitors to the city usually stay at the Silverblood Inn. And I guess Waylon was the murderer? I think? It's been so long since we've seen these people. Who was Waylon? Where did he live? He was one of the smelter workers. I used to have a job down there myself, casting silver ingots. I never knew much about Waylon, except he lives in the Warrens, like all the other workers. The Warrens are like basically the Ratways, but for Markarth. Who are the Forsworn? They're remnants of the old rulers of Markarth, natives of the Reach, followers of the old ways. The Nords drove them out of the city, Ulfric Stormcloak and his men. That was about 20 years ago. But somehow they're still here, and they're killing people. I never made that connection, so Ulfric is the one that moved the Forsworn out of Markarth, huh? So we're in the Reach area of Skyrim on the western side, and the Forsworn are like, they were pushed out. They're kind of like the natives of this land, and, you know, like, I guess Ulfric Stormcloak pushed them out, and that's why they're so angry, and they want to take back the Reach, which is that region, the west. You've looked into these murders? Yes. It all started when I was a boy. My father owned one of the mines, rare for anyone who was in the Nord. He was killed. Guards said it was just a madman, but everyone knew the murderer was a member of the Forsworn. I've been trying to find out why ever since. I've gotten nowhere so far. And then I got married. I have a child of my own on the way. I swore I was going to just give up for my child's sake, but it's like my father's ghost is haunting me, asking me why. Let me know as soon as you found anything. You got it, man. Also, nice face tattoos. Your wife cool with that? I guess so. Bye! Boop! As much as I hate these Coke Zero things, they really do pep you up, man. I I've noticed more of an effect from these than the other energy drinks I drink from time to time. They really do pep you up, I gotta say. Okay, this is a big fat quest, so this is probably gonna take the entire episode. 
Eltris has asked me to uncover evidence surrounding the murder of a woman in Markarth's marketplace who was attacked in broad daylight by a man claiming to be a member of the Forsworn. Find evidence about Waylon. Find evidence about Margaret. Margaret was the woman attacked. Waylon was the attacker. I'm pretty sure. So, we've got two quest markers, and they're both very, very close. That one should lead to the Warrens, I think, down there. And this one should lead to whoever the other oh, lady is. Your breath is foul. What have you been eating? People! Way to judge, okay? And now you're gonna make me do the thing. I gotta see how far you go. It's just too satisfying. Okay, not as far as I was expecting, to be honest. Thank God we're on PC, because I love doing that, and it takes five seconds to reload. Okay, anyways, what? Bye. Um, where is... Skyrim didn't have enough outsiders. Now we've got mercenaries from Hammerfell strutting about. Mercenaries from Hammerfell? What is that even in reference to? Mercenaries from Hammerfell. So we're pretty close to one of the locations, like over there. This whole tower in Markarth is very confusing. Lots of different doors and crap all over the place. Uh, but let's hop down here. Ooh, get, get, get. Ooh, I did it. I landed on the Brazier. Brazier, whatever it's called. To stop my fall. Because I'm an in. epic this MLG Skyrim like player. Plenty of strong drink and clean rooms. So it's led us here, but there's no other quest marker, which makes me think we got to get info from the bartender. Yeah. Yeah. There's no shipments coming in, so I do nothing. Just drink. Okay. Thank you for that info. This is... If I can't get you something, I'm sure my wife will bellow at me until I can. Does a woman named Margaret stay here? Ah, yes. Rented the nicest room we had for a whole month. I think she's sitting by the fire. Poor girl. Yeah, it's interesting. Wow, we saved her, so now we can just talk to her. But normally she's dead, so I, I bet you have to search her room? I don't remember. Remember, ale is cheaper than blood in Markarth. Ale is cheaper than blood? Blood? I mean, isn't ale always cheaper than blood, no matter where you are? Anyways, yeah, she's alive, so this is an interesting turn. Oh, it's you. The one from the market. Any idea why Waylon attacked you? No. I was just buying jewelry for my sister in Cyrodiil. I've never even seen that man before. But it's because she's an outsider, I think that's why. Because Waylon's a forsworn dude, and he just wanted to kill somebody that wasn't, you know, it's like because he's mad, it's like... I'm going to kill you because you're not supposed to be here, basically. What are you doing in Markarth? Just visiting. I had some business here. That's all. That sounds a little suspicious. Yeah. I want the truth. Or else. Or else what? You'll kill me? I already had to face that today. Yeah, I will kill you. You're hiding something. Was it that obvious? Damn. I must be losing my touch. I'm one of General Tullius' agents. I was sent to investigate the Treasury House and the Silverblood family. Holy shit! They own Sidna Mine, one of the toughest jails in Skyrim. I was hoping I could buy or steal the deed, but I don't think that's how things work here. Mark my words. Thonar Silverblood was behind that attack in the market. Somehow. I'm what you'd call a soldier of... Am I wrong? Like, this seems so much more fleshed out now that we saved her life. But most people are going to have her killed. Because, like, the first time you enter Markarth, you're like, what the heck's happening? And then she instantly dies. But now that we saved her, like, there's so much more to this. I'm surprised. You know? Okay, so... Find evidence about Waylon. Find evidence about Thonar. Um... I guess we'll just keep going with the th we'll keep going with her because like I don't know if I've ever done it this way before and I like there's one thing I love when doing a let's you. play I've seen you snooping around asking questions no back off you don't want to know what happens to troublemakers here tickle did do they get tickled no one tells me what to do we'll see this is your last warning outsider we keep the peace here Stay out of our business. Oh, you got some secrets, don't you? Mark Hearth City Guard. You don't even got a name. I got a name. You don't have that. Okay, we're gonna yeah, we're gonna investigate Thonar more. I'm not sure if you have to do uh that's the Warrens, right? Yeah, that's definitely the Warrens. So we wanna go over to this way. I've been warned outsider. Just a subtle hint of racism there, is it because I'm green? Oh yeah, we need to get oh, we need to get this helmet off. 
We're gonna go ahead and do that because this is seriously not even a this is not even a good a decent thing to have. We're gonna go grab uh, the ancient shrouded cowl. Glad to see this done a different way. Yeah, me too. Me what too. I don't know if I've ever done it this way. Um, I was aware that you could save Margaret if you're fast enough. Like I said, most people don't because they just don't even know that's an option. But I'm surprised that she has so much other dialogue. You would think that she's just like. Huh. Oh shit. Why? It's good to see you. It's been a long time. It's good to see you too, Esper. It's been too long, old friend. Too long. Well, then. You made it safe and sound. Good. Come on. I have a place we can talk. Oh, no. No! Hold down the bar. No, 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 no. Okay, we gotta do this quick. I'm not ready for this. This isn't a different episode. No, 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 no. We gotta, we gotta like throw all the chairs so that they get blocked. Okay, um, I need the ancient shrouded cowl. Oh, this doesn't even do, do anything. Yeah, we need a full set of light armor to get the uh, bonuses. Um, do we have any other like hat that's good? I mean, the jester's hat. But do you know what? I mean, genuinely. Grogon wouldn't even wear the Jester's hat. Just purely from a from, purely from a roleplay standpoint. He's not going to wear the Jester's hat. That's too much. No, it's not going to happen. Um, do we have any other better hat to wear that adds some sort of bonus? Cultist hat, not going to work. We need a light armor hat. Warm Shrouded Cal doesn't even have an enchantment. We could just enchant one. That's a thing. Uh, let's just scroll down here and see if there's any... What's that? Shrouded Hood Sneak. There it is. Wait, it's not light armor. Son of a bitch. That's it? What the heck do I wear? Ugh. I guess we'll have to wear the Jester hat. We still have it, right? Apparel, Jester hat, Jester hat, Jester hat. Is it light armor? It's not light armor. I'm assuming, yeah, it's not. we're not going to get the bonuses then, because it has no armor rating. Man, what the heck do we wear on our hat that's like a light armor thing? I guess we'll just have to go for the bow one. Was the bow one light armor? I think it was, wasn't it? It had, a, it had an armor value. That's the difference between the ancient and the normal. So I think the ancient has, has an armor value to it. Okay, where was the ancient shrouded cowl? Or whatever the heck it was called. It was at the top, right? I'm trying to spot with my eagle eye where it is. Yeah. There. Light armor. Okay, we'll go with that then. Uh, we'll equip it. And what am I wearing currently? Just some random elven hat, right? Okay, so now if we go to items and apparel, we should have a full set of light armor. Light armor, light armor, light armor, light armor. So now we get the light armor perks that we added in the last episode or the episode before, whichever one. Uh, we are going to head out and not listen to this dialogue. Hey, this is awkward. Have fun. Bye. Okay, hopefully that didn't ruin anything. Hopefully, like, if we leave, it's just gonna keep that, you know, keep that ready for another time, basically. Okay, find evidence about Thonar. Let's do that. I don't remember how this goes. Um, I don't remember who Thonar is. I mean, I do remember the Silver Bloods being a part of- uh-oh. They say Ulfric Stormcloak murdered the High King with his voice. Shouted him apart. With his voice? What?! I can't even believe that. Man, that guy really had to run up there to start drinking out of a mug. Okay. Okay, so this is the treasury house. Yeah, I don't remember how this all goes, so we're going to be careful. Take our time. Be a be an investigator. The treasury house is really just for patrons of the Silverblood family. You don't belong here. Oh, I want to do the shout joke and shout you again, but I've done it twice already in this episode, so you're you lucky. just let old Nana know if you need any. All right, dear. I've worked in the treasury house for almost 20 years. Wow. One thing that I don't like about Skyrim is that the old people are not really believable. They have bodies of like 20, no t ripped 20-year-olds, but like a, a wrinkly face. They did that in Oblivion, too. Um, all the people... Oh, no, did I save over the... No, there it is. Good. Yeah, all, all the people in Oblivion, too. They have like they have like ripped young bodies, but they're, they're supposed to be like super old. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's 9.43 p.m. and the door is locked. I'm going to wait. Let's see. Let's wait 12 hours, which will be 9 a.m. And then we'll wait two more hours on top of that. We'll talk about the game I'm playing off camera mostly, which is The Binding of Isaac. Uh, we've been uploading Isaac runs to the YouTube channel. Even if you're not a fan of Isaac, check him out just to see if you like him. I, I like explaining things and they've been insane runs. I think by the time this episode goes up, 
There will be another one coming out on Sunday, and holy crap, man! The the, the three the three Isaac episodes I've I've uploaded have just been absolutely nuts. Okay, is this guy just gonna stay in there? Is he not gonna, sir? All right, guess we got to do this the hard way then. Uh, I made a save already. I'm pretty sure. Oh God, lock picking. My best my best skill. <laughs> that right there is a perfect allegory for my entire lockpicking experience in this entire playthrough. Oh my god, it's Apprentice. Just open. Thank you so much. Okay. What's up, pal? What are you doing here? I told them no visitors. Did you send that guard to threaten me? What did you expect? That no one was going to notice you butting into business that wasn't yours? The guards know who holds the purse strings in this city, and I don't like snoops. Mark Carthy is my city. You have no right looking into my business. Now get out. Hey, even though we're on legendary difficulty, I could. What? By the gods, Petrid! I never should have come here. Okay, we're gonna let them figure that out. We're gonna, uh, in the meantime, search for a. Um... Search for a, uh, I was gonna say, I think this guy has a stone of, or, uh, an unusual gem, let's call it. And indeed he does. Oh, God. Um, okay, there's been an attack. Uh, okay, um, I, I kind of was not prepared. Also, it looks like, May, uh, Mola, the Mesa Molag ball is out of charge. Let's charge that up real quick. Need everything that we can get here. Let's do a black soul gem, sure. We should have checked for the other one, but that's fine. Is it? It still looks like it's not out of- Who would- Jeez! Um, okay. Whoa! Uh, buh, buh, buh. What do we even do here now? This is not good. Damn it. I don't even know who's attacking and who the aggressors are. You've heard of microaggressing- uh, Microaggressions. Now get ready for- macro aggressions like that like literally trying to kill me is the sweet spot still in the same spot no of course it isn't why would it be why why would i ever get a break with the lock picking right no just kidding i'm not i'm not bitter about that it's fine i understand that i don't have any of the perks and blah 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 <sighs> okay let's try this again what are you doing here what did you expect the guards know who mark carthy is my city you have no right looking yeah wait till you see what's about to happen my pal business. Now get out She just died. Who is attacking her? Nana? Oh my god! Okay. I don't know what's happening. I don't even know who the bad guy is. Is it Na is, is it, it it must be Nana, isn't it? I wonder if we can pickpocket her and see. Key to Markarth's treasure. She doesn't have any like note on her. Is it her that's attacking? Don't even think about it. Are you the bad person? I, she must be because this woman is dying immediately. Keep that in mind while you're speaking. This is just so hectic. I never even know who's attacking who. Okay, we're gonna do this once more. Then we're gonna save after this, so I don't gotta keep freaking lock picking over and over and over because it's a nightmare. Just open. Just, just open. Nope. It's all fine. It's all good. It's all just open. Oh my God, your apprentice. Just open. Thank you. Close that. Okay, what's up? What are you doing here? What did you? The guards know. Yep. Mark Carthy mm -hmm. is my city. You have no right. Now what the heck do we do, man? We're gonna enter sneak. We're gonna go ahead and charge this up again. Uh, do we have our black star? Is it charged up? The black star, it is, but it's like with a tiny soul. So we got to get that out of the way so it recharges with a better soul. And let's do another grand soul gem or black soul gem. Okay, now we're gonna save. I have no idea what happens here. Like a lot of people are attacking me. Wouldn't it only be Nana? Okay, we're gonna chill here. We're gonna say it's like Grogon's spidey sense, I guess. He knows dangers around the corner. Now, who is attacking? Who do we want to kill? I'm confused. It's definitely Nana, right? They're all attacking Nana, Nana Ildeen. She is the Forsworn conspirator, for sure. But do we let them kill her? We're gonna do that. I've outlived worse than this. Okay, we're gonna summon Lucian Lachance. We're just gonna chill here and see what happens. This isn't our fight. 
get away from me. Yeah, it's definitely her. I don't know why the other people were aggro. Like this person. Oh, because he's been summoned. Oh, I see. Oh, she's still alive. Kill her. Die. Well, that was insane. Yeah, so Nana Ildeen is like the secret Forsworn conspirator, which I guess I never put two and two together because like so many, so much shit is happening whenever this goes to shit that I don't even realize what's going on. So Nana Ildeen, yeah, the one you least expect. Okay, nice job, by the way. Uh, who died here? Is that Blood and silver, my friend. wife? Blood and they silver. killed her. Yeah. Damn Madanok. Damn his Forsworn backside. An ancient city, Mark. Will you talk now? Fine. You want to know what the Force One really are? They're my puppet. I have their king rotting in Sidna He was supposed to keep them under control. For that feat. Sidna Mine! My prison. The source of half the silver in Skyrim. The most secure prison in Damriel. No one escapes. I thought keeping Madanok down there would keep him under control. The Forsworn have a Okay, Lucian, you need to shut the hell up, dude. I'm trying to listen to the lore. I'm trying to pay attention to this playthrough. Normally, I don't care. Normally, it's just like, hey, send me where to go. I want to get the artifact. But this playthrough and all future playthroughs, I'm trying to pay attention to all the little stipulations to piece together parts of the Skyrim story that I, you know, I've always missed out on. The Forsworn have a king? Mad enough. The, savior the king the in rank. While we were all fighting the elves in the Great War, Madanok was busy ruling over the Reach. Until Ulfric came and put them down. You made a deal with the Forsworn? When their uprising was crushed, I had Madanok brought to me. He was a wild animal, but a useful one. I offered him a stay from execution if he used his influence to deal with any annoyances that came up. Competitors, agents, idiots. So I've let him run his little Forsworn Rebellion from inside Sidna Mine. Now he's out of control. Want me to take care of Madanok? You already got what you wanted, you damn hound. This is your fault. This is your fault. You and Madanok are animals. And I'll see you both rot to death in Sidna Mine for this. Now get out of my house. Lucian, hey. Blood and silver, friend. Blood and silver. Yeah, man. Lucian, we gotta have a talk, dude. Get out of my house. Uh, now. Okay, fine. God, you're the one. Hey, you reap what Just you sow. Just turn around and leave the city. That's the smart move. That was a very... Just so you all know, that was a very, very detestable experience. And I won't be returning to the treasure house ever again. Also, reviewing this very negatively on Yelp. Goodbye. What a bunch of jerks. You reap what you sow, okay? That guy caused his problems himself. That wasn't our fault. And Lucian, okay, we gotta have a talk, dude. When I'm listening to the lore, it's too much. I can't understand what they're saying because you're constantly saying edgy things. I understand you are a cool character in Oblivion. You gotta tone it down. You gotta tone it down. You've, you you're repeating yourself oftentimes too. All right. I appreciate you. You know we're Dark Brotherhood brothers. You gotta turn it down. The gem. Oh, the gem. Okay, thank you. Nice call, everybody. Nice call. I usually when we do these live recordings, I'm like, if I'm missing anything. Let, let, like, tag me in the chat, like, a million times, and I'll see, like, pure red, since I have BTTV installed. And so, uh, they have saved my bacon here, because, yeah, we totally forgot the, the, the stone of, the, the unusual gem. We don't know what it is. I have no idea what it could be. It's a neat little purple gem. Pink, in fact. Yeah, I'm gonna steal your gem, by the way. Get out of my house. Yeah, I'll get out, after I grab that. <laughs> Bye. I really want to kill him, but that's gonna cause a lot of problems. He's really a really big thorn in my side. Okay, nice call, Twitch chat. Very good. Very good. Okay, what the heck do we do now? That was a big that was a big dramatic experience. I'm gonna kick these over. Find evidence about Waylon. Okay, so we still have to do that part of it. We're gonna jump down here. Hey you. I know who you are, <laughs> but your secret's safe with me, because it's my secret as well. Speaking of, we have the taste for meat, man. It's been far too long. And I will follow child of darkness. Where the heck? His voice is in my head now.
Okay, into the Warrens. This part wasn't as interesting as far as I remember, although I could be wrong. And once again, we don't have a quest marker. Okay, I need to kill Lucian. He's kind of, he's being really annoying now. Love you! Okay, what's up? The Warrens isn't a place for your type. What do you want? Dude, I can't believe I'm playing a fantasy RPG and there's so much blatant racism. It's like the biggest surprise ever. I don't know what he means, though. It could just be because we're not like a Markarthian. But it may be, maybe it's because we're an orc. Did you know Waylon? Oh, yes. I know everyone who sleeps in the Warrens. Kind of the one who passes the keys around. I guess someone else will be taking his room now. That's pretty dark, man. I need the key to Wayland's room. Sorry, but you don't exactly belong here. <sighs> You're gonna make me kill you, dude. I, like, I'm playing a literal assassin character that's, like, morally... You know, chaotic, uh, neutral evil or whatever the heck. I, I still don't fully understand the alignments. That wasn't asking. Now, don't get all upset. Here, take it. What are the Warrens, by the way? It's where you go when you can't afford a room anywhere else. About the time they opened the mines, someone got the idea to throw beds in here. Laborers, the sick, the lame, we're all here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You've heard of Preston Gravy. Now get ready for Preston. All right, that's just dumb. That's just dumb. We got the key to not Garvey's room, although that's who we just talked to, but Waylon Smithers' room from the Simpsons. Degain? Who's Degain? He has something to do with something. You don't want to be here. No one wants to. I mean, you can leave. The door's over there. You don't have to be here. Unless your legs are broken, which might be a thing, I guess. Eltris's Eltris's room? I guess he did mention he lived in the war? That's interesting. Uh, here's Wayland's room, though. This is the guy that attacked Margaret, who is alive. Which adds an interesting layer to this. Now, I'm going to assume, I don't remember, but I'm going to assume there's a big old journal of a crazy man, because everybody in fantasy RPGs just loves to write down their exact plans so that anybody can find them. Key to Wayland's room. Okay, let's take that. And we've got a chest with Wayland's note. Seems good. A bear pelt, a child's doll, 13 gold. He's not going to need that. And leather strips. He's not going to need that either. But we need that for crafting. Wayland's note. Wayland. You've been chosen to strike fear in the heart of the Nords. Go to the market tomorrow, you'll know what to do. N. How did he know what to do, though? They didn't even say who to kill or anything. Read Wayland's note. I just did. Find out who N is? Read Wayland's note. It's not marked that we read Wayland's note. Why would that be? Weird. Okay. I read it. Good. Still saying we haven't read it. Now, I want to check out Eltris's room just to see... It's so close to Waylon's room, you would think there would be something- Okay, just break. Why not just break? Yeah. You would think there would be something here. Okay, it's novice now. Do, do not do this to me with a novice lock. Stop it. Uh, that's that. That's just not even- That's just not even gonna happen. Is there anything in Eldris's room whatsoever? You'd think they would ward you. See, once again, this is why I wish they had somebody, like, with, uh, you know, somebody with the job of just, like, oh, okay, the player decides to explore Eldris's room, so we're gonna reward them with, like, a little note or, you know, some sort of weapon or something. That'd be neat, but, you know, nothing in Eldris's room, which is a bit of a disappointment. Just have a little detail guy working on Bethesda where they, like, you know, they put something, something unique in each and every, like, quest-related area. You know what I mean? That'd be neat. Either way. No, no, no. No, no, no. Don't touch me. You've been digging around where you don't belong. It's time you learned a lesson. Oh, shit. Okay, this is bad, because the only time we're super duper in danger, this, by the way, is on legendary difficulty, the hardest difficulty, is brawls. But we probably will be able to do it with Berserker Rage. I don't listen to threats. You'll listen to this. Okay, not good. Well... Let's see if we can take him. I mean, we don't need to adhere by the brawl thing, right? But maybe, maybe we'll be thrown in jail. But something tells me that's going to be inevitable regardless. Okay, let's fight this guy normally. If we're dealing, like, no damage, if he's going to win, we're going to pop Berserk Rage, deal double damage, and take half damage. Come on. Let's see Ow. what you're made of. So again, as always, not sure what the strategy is here. Yeah, look at this. It's bullshit. 
do your work. Ugh. Okay, let's try Berserker Rage. Like, is the strategy to just spam the R button, the, the RT? Is the strategy to do the double attack? He's got too much HP. I think we just spam RT. Brawls in Legendary Difficulty are not good. They're not fun. It's just spam that RT button away. Nereverine beats Dovahkiin. Uh, Nereverine, I gotta play Morwind again and, and listen to the story. Okay. We gotta make, we gotta, we gotta use all the punches in our Berserker Rage 60 seconds that we possibly can. Because outside of that, we're gonna start taking too much damage and start dealing too little damage. Yeah, we've got the Nereverine and Morwind. We've got the Hero of Seer, the Kavach, the Champion's Kavach or whatever it is. Oh boy. Probably gonna have to rely on some healing here. I'm just gonna spam that RT though and not even look at his HP. Now that a Berserker Rage has run out, every one RT, every two RTs is one RT. Oh my god, this is so bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> this is a perfect example of why legendary difficulty is like an artificial difficulty in, in most respects. Is like the brawls are totally unbalanced. Alright, we're gonna heal now. Take it. Fight. Is there anything else I can do? I mean, this is not like a typical brawl. Oh my god. Alright, 20 years like can, can, Sir, I need you to vacate the premises. We're doing an official Take brawl it. here. That's all you yeah, it's all I got. What else am I gonna do? I can give you like the double power attack that does nothing. Does like three damage. Okay, you people need to vacate the premises. I'm gonna hit you by accident. I'm gonna fix you. Can I poison my fists? Okay, let's give him the double power attack. Bam, bam, bam. See, all of that landed, but it's still not even worth it. Oh my god. 20 years later. Okay, let's use a mana potion. Oh my god, this is... <laughs> yeah, the brawls are just, like, mind-numbingly boring whenever it comes to this. Extreme Magicka. Okay, once again, we're gonna heal, get some restoration. Rapidly move around. So that we don't get hit. Ow! Just gonna do that twice. Dude, there are too many people around. Okay. Let's have more fun. Remember that you can heal. Oh, I know. You think I don't know I can heal? Pfft. We just did it three times. You guys having fun? GV your health? I know. Everybody's antsy in the chat thinking I'm going to die to a fist fight. Come on now. Come on now. Oh, my God. This is mind numbing. <sighs> like, does anybody actually know the best strategy? Do I go double-handed? Do I hit him with the power attacks? Like, we can do that. Is it worth it? Is it worth the animation time? Oh, my God. This is an allegory for politics in America, by the way. Are you sure about that? Go for it. You can't even block. There's no tactics. 12 hours later, I know. Just get on the ground, Dreisten! Just get on the ground! God! Come on, man! What the? Jesus Christ! You made your piece of pit bait. Talk, or I send you to the gods. I was sent by Nepos the Nose. The old man hands out the orders. Oh, gloves of the pugilist. Sure you didn't get in the way. That's all I know. I swear. You're totally right. That's the way we do it. Gloves of the pugilist. I gotta go get. Yeah, I've never had to use those. I've never had to use those. Yeah, you're absolutely right. That's the way to do it. Yeah, because if you're a Khajiit, okay, what is, find evidence about Nepos. Find out who N is. So N is Nepos the Nose. 
Yeah, so the way to the way to do that better is um, getting the gloves of the pugilist, which you do have. You get them in the rat way, right? I forget. But anyways, you get that. Uh, but if you're a Khajiit, you get like a 15 bonus damage to your unarmed attacks. I forget, does it scale or do anything like that? I feel like the Khajiit things do scale or something. Because I feel like on this difficulty, it wouldn't do anything. Even if you're a Khajiit. Even if you're a Khajiit. But yeah, Team Mystic is absolutely right. So I, I am going to go back and get that at, when we when we get a chance. So that if we have to keep doing these brawls, well, at least it'll at least take... It won't take 20,000 years. Into Nepos' house. Nepos the Nose. Excuse me. What's your business here? Just, um, looking around. This is a private home, and the master of the house is a very old man. He's not to be disturbed. Wait. It's okay, my dear. Send him in. <laughs> yes, Nepos. Be careful. You heard him. Go on in. Okay, I'm going to make a new save here, because I might want to make this the thumbnail. Because this might be good to get a little... Man, look at that I'm nose. I'm sorry about my housekeeper. She's a little protective. Look at that nose. Now, what is it you want? I wonder why this guy's called Nepos the Nose, and I like how it says, Pick ne Nepos the Nose. Kind of says, like, pick his big ass nose. I'm sorry about my housekeeper. Yeah, no, you said She's that. a little protective of me. Now, what is it you want? You said that thug after me. Ah, yes. You've proven to be a real bloodhound. Well, you've sniffed me out. I've been playing this game for almost 20 years. Sending the young to their deaths. All in the name of the Force Rule. And I'm tired. So tired. Why? Because my king told me to. Madanok. When the uprising fell at the hands of the Nords, they threw him in the mines. I don't know how, but he lives. I get his messages, and I hand out his orders without question. Why are you telling me all of this? My dear boy, what makes you think you're getting out of here alive? Uh, so creepy. You were seen coming in. The girl at the door is a Forsworn agent masquerading as a maid. You aren't the first one to have gotten this far. You won't be the last. Who's Madanok? He is the king in rags. A man who once held all the reach within his grip. He stokes the passions of the downtrodden in this city. Directs them to kill the enemies of the Forsworn in our name. All from inside Sidna Mine. A Nord prison. The irony is quite thick. You mentioned an uprising. Markarth and the Reach are our lands. That is why we are the Forsworn. We cannot claim the home that is rightly ours. But then, during their war with the Elves, we had our moment. We drove the Nords out of the Reach in a great uprising. Then Ulfric and his men came. Those of us who didn't run were executed, except for myself, my king, and a handful of others. I'm sorry. Come on! Hey! I can't do, um, well, I am gonna leave alive and watch me. In fact, I've got the power of the voice. Ow. Bye. Except not. Or except, yeah. Work filth? Oh, you're lucky I'm on legendary difficulty. I would straight up kill you, buddy. Wait, I thought something else happens here. Return to Eltris. Oh no. Whenever there's like a return to the guy that started the conspiracy thing, they're always dead, pretty much. I, I don't remember though. Oh, he's definitely oh, dead. Is that blood down there? Oh God, Um, this is awkward. Guess y'all wouldn't mind if I took a quick snack, right? Just gonna do that. Oh, don't raise his body up. What say you in your defense? Oh shit. <laughs> this ain't good. This is not normally how it's supposed to happen. Um, alright. Let's do this. 
Yeah, we've dealt with our escapes before in the past. Yep. I've got some fight left. Yeah, I've got some fight left in me too. I just need to find the freaking route up to the top of this tower. Where is the route? Seriously, where is the route? What the hell? Where is the? Where are the stairs leading up to the? Where is the stairs leading up to the top of the tower? Don't do this to me now. They're just hidden behind here. Okay. Got a way out. Got a way out. Oh shit. Um. Yeah, just stand there, man. Just stand there. I'm kind of being murdered right now. Okay. We can do this. I need everybody to get in the same level, please. Bye! Jump! 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 <laughs> okay, uh, we need, um, well, we're gonna chill here for a second. We're gonna keep him on the wire. We're gonna keep him hooked. Nice fireballs! the damage. <laughs> I don't know how we got the sneak attack there. That was a surprise. There are two more people trying to kill me and they're coming up now. You don't have a I do have a chance, especially if you take so long to get up here, Morvin. What are you going to do? I'll tell you exactly what you're going to do. You're gonna come here, right over here. Show me what oh, I'll show you what I've got, all right. Whoa! Oh, Jesus. Bye! Yeah, that's what I've got, by the way. And I'm gonna feed on whoever this is, if I can interact with her. Why can't I interact with her? Hello? Okay, well, I was gonna feed on her to add insult to injury, but whatever. Yeah, that's what I've got. Bye-bye now. Now, what do you got? Nothing. That's what you've got. Fus Rodal, the power, most powerful shout to ever exist. Now, that was crazy, huh? Oh, we ain't saving. No, 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 no. We're rolling with this. We're rolling with this. There's only one way out, by the way. Okay, so now we need to return to Eltris. And like I said, I, I didn't remember if he lived or died. But it's it's a sure bet if you're ever doing a conspiracy-type quest that uh, if you return to the guy that started it in any, like, movie or game, they're dead. And sure enough, yeah, he's dead. And there's three Markarth guards near him as well. I guess they're just gonna let me <laughs> interact with him. Uh, you guys don't mind if I just if I, if I worship for a second, right? Okay. Gold. A Ooh, that's a lot of gold. Key to Eltris's room, lockpick, and silver garnet ring, and that's it. Okay. Uh, we'll see you guys later. Bye. What is happening? I feel like they're supposed to be talking to me. We want you. You just had to go and cause trouble. Now you have to pin all these recent murders on you. Silence witnesses. Work, work, work. What did you do to Eltris? Same thing we do with all the other natives who want to change things around here. We had a nice little deal going between Vonar and Madana until you and Eltris started snooping around. Well, you wanted to find the man responsible for those killings. You'll have plenty of time with the King in Rags when you're in Sydney Mine. What happens if we... You kind of have to go, though, don't you? I don't want to choose this for roleplay reasons, because Grogon would never choose this. But I think you can leave, but you'll never be able to finish this quest if you don't actually go to jail. So I think if we say you're not taking me alive... They will fight me, and I have to, like, leave Markarth, and then they'll always keep fighting me if I come back, and you'll never be able to finish this quest nor start the next one if you don't say final, come quietly, or go to jail. So we're gonna say, you're not taking me alive. <laughs> you'll never see the sun again. You hear me? No one escapes Sidna Mine. Oh, yes, we do. No one. Yes, yes, we do. How else would there be a... How else would there be a game? I guess we're just here for the rest of the game, right? Jail. 
Most jails allow you to serve your time by sleeping in your cell's bed. Notice how it says most. You can also try to escape. Your equipment can be found in a personal, in a personal belongings chest somewhere in the jail. All right, prisoner. Eyes front. You're in Sidna Mine now, and we expect you to earn your keep. There's no rest in your hide in a cell in this prison. Here you work. You'll mine ore until you start throwing up silver bars. That doesn't sound pleasant. You got it? Hey, you're an orc. Let's kind of like... Come on, we... I mean, she's being paid. She's a guard, though. When do I get out? You'll pay off your debt to the reach. Just work, and you'll earn your freedom. All right. Open her up. Now you, get down there. What if I say no? So this is what I was talking about. This is gonna suck, because guess what? We have nothing now. So we have to find some way to do this quest. Man, I really should have saved. I did save. Yeah, we have to do this quest without having any of our equipment. Uh, I don't remember when you get your equipment back. They're obviously not just gonna like, oh, goodbye to your equipment. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have to do this quest on legendary difficulty without having like <laughs> our stuff. And I know what weapons you get, and I'm not sure if it's gonna, if it's not, not sure if it's gonna work uh, on legendary, but we'll see. However, this is a perfect ending for this episode. No one escapes Sidna Mine, so the Forsworn Conspiracy has turned into another quest. I've been imprisoned inside Sidna Mine, framed for Eldris's murder. I have to find Madanok, the king in rags, and clear my name. Ask a prisoner about Madanok. And that's where we end. Thank you so much for watching. That was a good episode. I'm really proud of that one. That was, uh, didn't know how this, this one would go, because there's a lot of snooping around and doing all sorts of stuff. Uh, but I'm proud of this one. It came out good in my opinion. I'm glad to see that a lot of people seem to be liking this, the streamed episodes. At first it was kind of like, you know, more people dislike them, I think. But now, then it was kind of in the middle. And now that I've really refined the process. Turned off all the notifications and, you know, made it more about YouTube. Uh, people just seem to have nice things to say about it, which makes me very happy. So if you like these streamed episodes, thanks so much for saying so. And also, come on over and watch live. We'd love to have you. But that's where we end. Uh, thanks so much to the people watching live on Twitch. Thanks so much to the people on Patreon that support me in what I do. And thanks so much to everybody just for watching. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. Hey, it's me, GV. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to watch more of my content, I'm probably live on Twitch right now. The link is in the description below. Come and say hi. Also, if you want to go the extra mile and support me and what I do, consider becoming a patron. Get a lot of perks and all sorts of goodies. Thanks for watching again, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.